Hi guys, my name is Zach and this is GG Fistbump. In this video, we'll be talking about how to place Fortuna Project and OPL into your PS2 memory card using free DVD boot. That way, you can load homebrew applications and even play PS2 games via USB flash drive. But first, roll the intro. If you're new to my channel, it would really help if you would click on subscribe, then hit on that notification bell to stay up to date with my latest videos. I do gaming related reviews, tutorials, documentaries, and gameplays. Alright, for those who don't know what Fortuna Project is, Fortuna Project is a homebrew launcher for the PS2 using a PS2 memory card, and it stands as an alternative to free MacBoot. No additional hardware modding required. Unlike free MacBoot, however, which only works on PS2 models with certain model numbers and date codes, Fortuna Project supports all PS2 models, from the first to the very last. However, different files are needed depending on the console type, whether it's slim or fat. Now, as mentioned earlier, I'll be showing you how to install Fortuna Project on your PS2 memory card using free DVD boot. For this tutorial, you will need a PS2 memory card, a USB flash drive, a PS2 Slim model with a DVD player version that supports free DVD boot, which is 3.04, 3.10, and 3.11 as of this video, and finally, a free DVD boot disc. If you don't have a free DVD boot disc yet, it's a very simple process. You just have to burn a certain image into a blank DVD disc, and I have a tutorial for that. Just watch my free DVD boot PS2 video, I'll place a link in the description below. That video continues into free MacBoot installation though, so just watch until you have the DVD disc for free DVD boot set up, then come back here. So once you have all your needed materials, let's head over to your PC and set up your USB flash drive with the needed Fortuna project files. Alright, so all you have to do is to download these three files. The link to these files are in the description below. You'll need the Fortuna project files, the sys-conf folder, and the latest build of OPL. Let's take a quick look at the websites for these files. For Fortuna project and OPL, I'll be linking the PS2-home website, which gets regular updates. If the website doesn't load for you though, which may happen with some people, try to access this through a free VPN as your ISP might be blocking this page. But for me, it works, so just download your needed files. So again, this is for Fortuna Project, this one is for OPL, then you have this for the sys-conf folder. Once you have these three files, extract the folders that you see inside. This is optional but you may also want to create a new folder, which I'll rename to boot just to have a shortcut of boot.elf inside your memory card. Let me just copy, not drag boot.elf inside your Fortuna files. Plus, you may also copy openps2loader.elf from the OPL folder into the boot folder so that you may have a shortcut as well. Finally, just so that we can already play, make another new folder and rename it to DVD. This is where we'll be placing our PS2 ISOs. So let me just place Tekken Tag Tournament and Shadow of the Colossus as an example inside the DVD folder. You can also add other games inside this folder, but if you have other games over 4GB like GTA San Andreas or GTA Vice City, a FAT32 USB won't accept them. So you need to break them into 1GB chunks through a program called USB Util. So once you have all these folders, OPL, sys-conf, Fortuna, boot folder, and the DVD folder, 
just drag them all inside your USB flash drive. Let me just format this so just that it won't have any files inside. So again, just copy and paste these folders inside. This might take a while because we've added some games. Let me just forward this a bit. After doing that, eject your USB and go back to your PS2. Okay, so just put your free DVD boot disk inside your PS2 and plug in your USB flash drive. Also, plug in your plain PS2 memory card as well. This doesn't have anything installed right now, but we will be turning this into a Fortuna Project memory card. Power on your PS2, and you should be booting Ulaunch L from the free DVD boot disk. Press circle to go to the file browser. Go to Mass, which is your flash drive, and then you'll see the folders inside. So what we'll basically do is that we'll copy the OPL folder, the Fortuna project folder, the sys-conf folder, and the boot folder into your PS2 memory card. By loading your PS2 with the Fortuna project memory card, you can now access homebrew files like OPL, which lets you load PS2 games from your USB flash drive. So no, you don't transfer games into the memory card. It just stays inside your USB flash drive, inside the DVD folder. As for the saved files, they still get saved into your PS2 memory card, not on the USB flash drive. If you want to, you may just keep your saves on a second memory card as you will be messing with the Fortuna project memory card often. So to copy the four files, press X and mark each folder. Click on R1, then click on Copy. Then go to the folder with the two dots to go back and navigate to your PS2 memory card, which is MC0. Go down a bit, click on R1, then Paste. If you have previous files in there, just overwrite it. So that's it. You now have a Fortuna project memory card which lets you run homebrew applications. Let's go to the boot folder and open opl.elf and if everything is done correctly, you can now boot into opl. The first time you open the OPL screen, you may get the settings menu. You may change the USB device start mode to auto. And the default menu to USB games so that you may skip the settings. Afterwards, just save this. Go back to your USB games and now you can select your games and play. Now, how do you load your Fortuna project memory card? 
So let me just turn off the PS2. Remove your free DVD boot disc as you don't need it already. And then power on. Your PS2 loads normally and you can still play regular disc. The good thing about Fortuna Project memory cards is that they work on all PS2 Slim models, both the fat and slim, including the newer SCPH9000 series. The challenge, however, is how to get the Fortuna files onto the memory card because not all PS2s can do it. So to activate Fortuna Project if you have one already, just go to Browser and go into your memory card. You'll see that the data is corrupted, but that's perfectly normal. Just press circle to go back, press circle again, and then you'll be booting into your launch elf. From there, you can navigate back to your memory card, Go to boot folder, then to OPL. So now it will boot the program. And boom! You can now navigate your games. So you have here Shadow of Colossus, but let me just try Tekken Tag. Wait for it to load. And there we go. We have successfully run a game through USB using a Fortuna Project memory card with OPL. And if you want to add additional games inside your USB flash drive, just place the PS2 ISOs inside the DVD folder. However, if the game is over 4 gigabytes, you may need to divide it into 1GB chunks through a program called USB Util. And I guess that's it! And with that, I think we're done. If you found this video helpful, interesting, or entertaining, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel, then hit on that notification bell for more content just like this. Again, I'm Zach, and this is GG Fistbump.